It's date night. Here are 12 free, romantic, and fun ideas. Some of the best dates I've had with my husband were cheap or free, like when we went to a flea market, sat on a tennis court to watch fireworks, or laid on a dock at night while looking out over the lake. We found out about each other's goals and how we could help each other reach them all for free. What could be more romantic than saving money while falling in love? Looking for fun and romantic date ideas that don't cost anything. Keep seeing, I got you. 1. Go on a hunt for things. I'll admit that I was skeptical when my husband told me we were going on a scavenger hunt, but it turned out to be one of the most fun and romantic dates we've ever had. If you don't know what a scavenger hunt is, here's what you need to know, find a scavenger hunt list online or make your own. Each clue should describe the next thing you need to find, which will lead you to the treasure. It can be changed in any way, you can do it in your apartment or in other places around the city that remind you of good times. Make it short and easy, or make it a date that lasts all day. Total cost for you to get in touch with your inner child and bond with your boo on a date, zero dollars. If you're on a date, working on clues together will help you get to know each other better. If you've been with the same person for a long time, trying something new will keep your relationship feeling new. 2. Teach each other how to make a new meal. Instead of going out to eat or taking expensive cooking classes, make a meal at home that neither of you has ever made before. For instance, if your favorite restaurant serves Italian food or sushi, learn how to make similar dishes at home. Try a free class on Skillshare, YouTube, or Pinterest, or look for a recipe on Pinterest with step-by-step -step instructions. Don't forget to get some candles to set the table. I'm sure neither of you will miss your favorite place to eat. If neither of you is sure of how to cook, make a favorite meal from when you were a kid, did someone say chicken nuggets? Making a variety of your favorite meals will be fun, even if they come from a box. It might also get you talking about your childhoods. 3. Go to a library. Okay, I know this sounds more like a middle school field trip than a date night idea, but hear me out. My first date with my husband was at the library in our town. We spent the night going from aisle to aisle to compare reading lists and give each other suggestions based on the authors we liked best. The best part was finding out that we liked a lot of the same books, which gave us a lot more to talk about than usual on a first date. Take your date to the library, where you can each pick out a book for the other, or check ahead to see if there are any talks or readings planned. Plus. The quiet voices take the pressure off a first date and can be used to whisper sweet nothings, I don't know about you, but this date was free is a good one for me. 4. Have a movie roulette night. With Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+, Plus, you can watch any movie you want on movie night. But with so many apps and choices, it can be hard to find a movie to stream. You might even spend half of your date night trying to figure out what to watch instead of watching a movie. The solution is to have a cozy movie night with a twist at home. Make it a fun game of chance instead of scrolling for 30 minutes to find something to watch. Use Real Good, which includes all your different, free, streaming services, and filter by genre and rating to shuffle your movie options without too much risk to find the best movie suggestion. If you don't have a computer, you can write down the titles of your favorite movies on pieces of paper and pick the winner from a bowl. For a fancier night in, make a charcuterie board or pop some popcorn to have with your movie. 5. Stargaze Laying under the stars is the most cliché thing to do in a romantic comedy, but it's also very romantic. Go to a park, field, or even your backyard and have a date night under the stars to enjoy the free romance that nature has to offer. Try a free stargazing app to make finding certain stars, planets, or constellations more fun and like a game. You don't have to pay anything to look at the stars, hot cocoa or a bottle of wine are nice, but not necessary, and you'll both feel like you're in your world. If it's cloudy or cold, try the local planetarium instead on one of its free days. 6. Go to a show in your area. 
One of my favorite memories is lying on a blanket in the park with my husband and watching local actors perform Romeo and Juliet. I had never been to a Shakespeare play before, let alone one in a park, but my husband convinced me to go with three things. The romantic setting of the park, a cheese plate, and a blanket for the two of us to cuddle up on. On the website for your city, look for free events in parks that you can go to. Maybe you'll both learn about a band or show you've never heard of before, or you'll both enjoy something you already love. You could also pack a picnic basket and have dinner and a show under the stars as the sun goes down. This would be much cheaper, more fun, and different than a date at a restaurant. 7. Go to an art museum or gallery. Explore your artistic side and get some culture by going to a local museum or art gallery on a free day. Plus, you will always have something to talk about. Walk through the galleries together and tell each other about your favorite pieces or interesting things you learned. How someone acts in a museum can tell you a lot about who they are. Pay attention to what interests them or how they react to what you find interesting. If you go to an art gallery, their taste in art can also tell you a lot about them, do they like Renaissance art and love history, or do they like cubism and have an edge to them? You'll bond over learning something new, have fun doing something different, and feel less pressure than at a fancy dinner. 8. Go camping, on your terms. Not all camping trips are the same. For instance, my husband loves to rough it in the wilderness and use his Boy Scout patches. On the other hand, I'm not into that kind of thing. I like glamping much better. You can choose your adventure, which is good news. Are you both looking forward to a night in nature? Bring enough stuff, don't forget the s'mores, to spend the night outside. If you're more like me, camp in your backyard with your warmest pajamas, throw blankets, and maybe a bottle of wine, and go back inside when you're done. If all else fails, build a blanket fort in your living room, trust me, you're never too old for a blanket fort, and add lighting and pillows to make it more romantic. Even when heated in a microwave, s'mores are still gooey and tasty. 9. Go hiking or on a romantic walk. Want to try something new? Put on your shoes and fill up your water bottle, because we're going on a hike to see some sights together. Want to spend less time, and do less intense exercise? To go somewhere new, you could walk around a new neighborhood or a nearby park. You can also go to the tourism website for your city or use GPS My City to go on a guided walking tour. It's always fun to be a tourist in your city. Walks can be romantic at any time of year because you can hold hands and look at the scenery. Visit the community gardens in the spring and summer to see flowers in bloom. In the fall, you can watch the leaves change, and in the winter, you can grab a cup of hot chocolate to go and look at the Christmas lights. 10. Have a day at home at the spa. No need to spend money on a massage for two. Put on your soft robes and take care of yourselves at home. After a long day or week, a relaxing self-care date is a great way to unwind. My husband and I usually start our at-home spa dates with a face mask that we leave on while we read, watch an episode of our favorite show, or just talk. Next, give each other a massage by taking turns. For a more romantic touch, take a bath together, don't forget the fancy bath bombs, and warm your towels in the dryer to make it feel like you're at a spa. Set the mood by diffusing lavender oil or lighting a scented candle, and put your phones on silent. When you're done, you and your partner will both feel relaxed, and your skin will thank you with a healthy glow. 11. Have breakfast in bed for yourself. Instead of planning dinner for later in the day, why not have a romantic date at home to start the day? The best way to start the day is with breakfast in bed. Go to the kitchen and make yourself something tasty to eat in bed. My husband and I like to make it special by putting some flowers from our yard on a tray we find around the house. We stay in the moment by turning off our phones, talking, reading the paper together, or watching TV. After a busy week, this is the best time to catch up with each other. 
Stay as long as you can under the covers and watch a cooking show like The Great British Bake Off. You don't have to wear clothes, but you do have to enjoy your time together. 12. Have a night of games. Host your game night to show off your fun, or competitive, side. Depending on your personality, playing games together could mean getting closer and laughing too hard, or it could mean a friendly, and hot, competition that gets you talking. If you have a deck of cards at home, even a simple card game can make a date night more fun, bonus points if it's strip poker, where you can pull out all of your two-player board games for a marathon that will decide who is the ultimate winner. Even if you don't have any cards or games, you can play charades or make your version of Pictionary and take turns guessing. You don't like game night? Try games like Two Truths and a Lie, Never Have I Ever, or Truth or Dare to learn more about each other and see how daring you can be.